Yo, have you heard of LinkedIn Learning? If you haven't, LinkedIn Learning is an American massive open online course provider. It provides video courses taught by industry experts in a variety of subjects. Now, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because Living Corporate is in partnership with LinkedIn Learning to provide diversity, equity, and inclusion courses. Listen, if you're trying to be a better ally, you want to understand better diversity, equity, and inclusion strategies, or you just want to learn how to be a better leader, you got to check out the courses on LinkedIn Learning. So check it out. You can do it one of two ways. You can click the link in the show notes or you go to LinkedIn Learning and you search Living Corporate. Again, link in the show notes or go to LinkedIn Learning and search Living Corporate. I'll see you over there. What's going on, Living Corporate? It's Tristan, and I want to thank you for tapping back in with me as I provide some tips and advice for professionals. On this episode, let's talk about a couple of questions you should ask yourself before you quit your job. The trend, known as the Great Resignation, where employees are quitting their jobs voluntarily as work life returns to something near normal, has taken companies by surprise. In August, 4.3 million, or 2.9% of the entire workforce, quit their jobs. If you're considering hopping on the trend, there are a few things you should ask yourself. The first question is, can the problem be fixed? Before you can answer this question, you have to actually know what the problem is. Why do you want to quit your job? Are you not challenged enough? Do you not get paid enough? Is the job too demanding? In every job we take, we will have moments of unhappiness and dissatisfaction, but is the problem you're running from big enough that it can't be fixed? If so, then you may want to start searching for a new role. But if you think it can be fixed, you might want to try to resolve it first. The second question is, have my life or career goals changed? The pandemic has forced many of us to reconsider our priorities. Maybe you don't want to commute a long distance or work long hours. Maybe you want to work remotely. Maybe you want to do something completely different. If you're going to be looking for a new job, you want to make sure you're finding the right fit and something that will help you get to the next level in your career. The last question is, do I have another job lined up? If not, do I have a solid plan so I can afford to quit? Look, I don't know any adults who don't have bills to pay and other obligations. Take some time to assess your financial situation to see if you can afford to up and quit your job. If your job is not toxic or incredibly damaging to your physical or mental health, you may need to put off your resignation to ensure your stability. We've all had those tough times at work where we begin to contemplate our future with the company, but before you quit, make sure you're making the right decision for yourself. This tip was brought to you by Tristan of Layfield Resume Consulting. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Layfield Resume, or connect with me, Tristan Layfield, on LinkedIn.